So I hear that you two met not long ago, that is correct. That's right, Lamar. We have only known each other since the start of this month. Congratulations on that one. Me and Jacqueline met at the start of this year. Me and Lamar have known each other for quite a good few months, and things are going great. Congratulations to you two as well. And I believe that your birthday is next month, isn't it Lamar? It is indeed. Don't get me wrong, I'm looking forward to it. But I just hope that my parents don't do something terrible to me like they did last year. They won't, they are in prison now and I am sure that they will never hurt you again. Even if they break out of prison, they wouldn't dare come anywhere near you. For when the big day comes, we have a spectacular surprise, and when you come and claim it, I will be there. I used to play James Bond, and so they wouldn't even dare try to ruin it. They would have to get through me first before they get to you. Daniel is right Lamar. And I am sure that you will be most pleased with the surprise we have in store for you. I am so relieved to hear that. And I can't wait to see what the surprise is. Thanks in advance. You are most welcome. Roy, what are you three doing sitting in my seat? Oh great, here we go again. Another entitled Karen. Are you deaf or something? I said, get out my seat. No way, we're not giving up our seat, we got the seat first. And besides, there's plenty of seats by that door over there. Mind your own business you minx. And what in God's name are you doing barefoot? That is just disgusting. I took off my flip-flops to feel more comfortable. If you don't like it well that's just too bad. And don't call me a minx because that is a horrible thing to say to a girl. What? You are including Daniel Craig in your videos? Including real people in Vian videos is just wrong. Brainiac Adam includes Freddie Mercury and Jeremy Corbyn in his videos, and nothing bad has happened to him. Both him and Callum have every right to include real people in their Vian videos if they want to. And why are you friends with Lamar Gravely? He's a troublemaker, and you should be hating troublemakers, not being friends with them. They can be friends with me if they want to. And for your information, I am no longer a troublemaker. I have since redeemed myself and I now live a much happier life. Oh, 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 oh. How dare you all talk back to me? That's it. All of you are so. Oh, oh, oh. All grounded, 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 grounded until the end of the world. And while all of you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes, maggots, kazu marzu, and cockroaches which is for every meal. Go to your rooms right now. First of all, don't try to ground us if you have no grounding rights on us. And second of all, don't drill on a train or you will cause us to crash. No. I will drill as much as I want to. Now give up your seats before I take you all to court, and I will keep on drilling, drilling, and drilling until my heart's content. Oh. Just shut up you entitled old bag. You are not Becky Graham so knock it off right now. What is going on here? Thank god you are here Mr. Manager. This woman on the floor tried to force us to get off our seats, and then she insulted my girlfriend, criticized me for including Daniel Craig in my videos, criticized all of us for being friends with Lamar, started using her drill, and then tried to ground us all. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. All right you two, that is quite enough. I've seen you before. This is not the first time you have caused a fray on the train. A while ago, you harassed a man because you couldn't bear the thought of his least favorite character being punished, and now you try to ground everyone on the train just because they wouldn't give up their seat. That was a very inconsiderate thing to do. Not only that, but the vibrations from the drill you used could have caused the train to derail, which could have potentially killed everyone on board. 
you are very lucky you didn't, however, endangering people on a train is a very serious crime and I will be calling the police. When we get to the next station, you will be arrested. No. You really want to be turned into a motor car, don't you? Bessie Thatcher, you are now the owner of a product called Arrested, and it's on suspicion of harassment and endangering the safety of rail users. You do not need to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. God fucking damn it. I can't believe I'm being arrested yet again. Just wait, one day I will buy the police force and when I do, all of you will regret what you did to me. Mark my words. Quit your whining. You bought this upon yourself. And don't you know that the Alanisteums bought the police force and Adam Hughes the movie, and they abused their power? By the sounds of it, you plan to do exactly the same thing. After they abused their power, the contract became null and void, and so the police force was no longer theirs. So don't even bother trying to buy the police force, because it's not going to work out. And for your information, you are now banned from the train for life which means you will no longer be able to cause a fray or endanger lives ever again. If at any point you attempt to get on the train again, you will immediately be arrested. I hope I make myself clear. And one more thing, I'm going to turn you into a car and drive you to prison. Beyond logic, activate. Now let's take a trip downtown, for your cell is awaiting, and it's calling out your name. Wow. Ha 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 ha. It's always funny when someone cries like a motor car in the Ludovico voice. I know right, that sound never gets old. I cannot apologize enough that you all had to go through that. That woman has now been banned from our trains, and I will do all I can to ensure this doesn't happen again. It's quite alright. This isn't the first time we had to deal with an entitled Karen. A while ago, another entitled woman harassed me and Harley Quinn, and then it ultimately escalated into a fight. Yes, I heard about that. It's such a shame that these so-called entitled Karens harass people on our trains. I am worried that if this carries on, less and less people will use our service and we may go bankrupt. But to make up for this incident, all of you can have your next rides free. How does that sound? Thank you Mr. Manager. We heavily appreciate that. It's the least I can do. I hope you lot have a pleasant, Karen-free journey.